Good afternoon and welcome to Rooftop Trombone in the Age of COVID-19 day number two one five, season two day number 15 um, it's actually if we're counting from the beginning of season one I looked it up we're 10 days off it's actually day 225 since our uh, MCO began um, back on March the 18th but I took a hiatus between 106 and uh, 15 days ago so uh, so we're just calling this season 2 day 15 welcome to rooftop trombone in the age of COVID-19 my name is Don Bowyer and I am the Dean of the School of Arts at Sunway University right over there and um, we're in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia in the in the metropolitan area of Kuala Lumpur Sunway City is actually the name of the community here um, where we have beautiful Sunway uh, Lagoon uh, Sunway Lagoon uh, Amusement Park, if you will, water park. Um, Sunway Pyramid Shopping Center, which is just a premier shopping center. I'm, I'm an ambassador for Sunway today. <clears throat> Sorry, also in my wild gestures, I knocked something on the floor. Excuse me. I'm back. Um, so, welcome. <laughs> Malaysia is on, well, this region of Malaysia, the metropolitan area, and a couple of other regions far flung from here are under a conditional movement control order encouraging everyone to stay home except as absolutely necessary uh, for 15 days now. Prior to that we had been on a, a less restrictions. Um, this particular order is has was extended yesterday until November the 9th, two weeks from yesterday, and we'll see what happens after that. But we're we're getting this virus under control again. I know you're working to do the same thing wherever you are and I hope you have as much success as we are going to have. So, what I've been doing is uh, in this new season is is some improvisation. What I call, in fact, free improvisation. Although I was told by a, an expert on free improvisation this afternoon that what I'm doing is actually not free improvisation because the uh, it's a very traditional. It's probably not the right word, but uh, the language I'm using, the 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 style that I'm playing doesn't involve avant-garde sounds. Well, I just have you know that that's because I chose not to, and by golly, I might use some some uh, avant-garde sounds tonight. Uh, I'll probably get an earful tomorrow about how I mis misunderstood the whole concept. Anyway, um, so what I'm doing is improvising based on image tonight, images that you people in the, in, in the viewing audience have submitted, and I have 10 of them that I haven't, well, I've seen them days and days ago. We had a collection of 50 some. Um, I, I saw them, I put them all in that folder so I briefly saw them once, but I don't know which 10 are in this particular uh, night's program because it's been curated by, oh I have to, hold on, there it is. It's been curated by uh, Prof. Matthew Sansom, um, who is <laughs> Who is the same one and the same who, who said I'm not doing real free improvisation? Um, we'll see. Well, we'll see about that. Anyway, let me see if I can fix that visual. There is that. No, that's not better. What did I do? How did I get moved? That white bar gone up there. Okay, that's better. Anyway, um, free improvisation. Um, this is the eighth time we've done this with images. Like I said, there are ten images. I don't know which ten, and. Even if I knew which ones it, they were, I've only seen them each once for five seconds when I dragged them into a folder. Um, so thank you to Prof. Matthew for uh, curating this. Um, he's the, the VJ, if you will, for, for um, most of these programs, except when he was busy and I had to just sort of randomly do it myself. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope your uh, image is one of the ten in tonight's program. If it's not, I hope you'll... Uh, uh, come back tomorrow and maybe your image will be in one of those and if you haven't submitted an image please do in fact special shout out to all of the um, music theory 2 students at the Sunway University um, that's a class I'm teaching right now um, I'd like to do an entire program of, of images just submitted by my students so uh, I look forward to getting some of those anyway that's all I have to say right now I'm gonna hit the run button and uh, we'll get started uh, right now. Hope you enjoy it. Well, go. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh. 
Thank you to the people who submitted those photos. Um, and thank you so much to Malaysian Airlines flying right over my head at the, on that first picture. Uh, they don't normally do that. We're not, we're not in that flight pattern, but I guess 
maybe the weather's different tonight. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. If you would like to see one of your images, or two or five of your images, in a future rooftop trombone, please send it to the email address right there, rooftoptrombone at gmail.com. Likewise, and if you'd like to hear a poem, either one you wrote or one that someone else wrote, send that to rooftoptrombone at gmail.com. In both cases, the picture or the poem must be family friendly and must have clearance for intellectual property. And that is best done by picking a photo that you took or a poem that you wrote or a poem that's at least 100 years old. If you want to send Shakespeare, that's public domain now. If you want to send, um, so, so I got one today, by the way, that I'll, that Rudyard Kipling I got today that I, I believe we can put in the mix for tomorrow. Anyway, um, please sub submit uh, whatever you have, and I'd love to, to look at it and, and comment on it with my not-so-free improvisation. Thanks. Bye-bye. Stop. <laughs>